Welcome to another episode of Storytime with Barry Mitzman. Let's begin. Once upon a time, there were five daughters. These daughters didn't have any brothers, and they saw that all the other men in their tribe as well as nation were receiving inheritance in the land of Israel. These women decided to approach the leaders of the Jewish people and request, not demand, but request inheritance. And this is what it says. Our father died in the wilderness, but he was not among the assembly that was gathering against Hashem in the assembly of Korah. Rather, he died of his sin, and he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be omitted from among his family because he had no son? Give us a possession among our father's brothers. And what happened next? And Moses brought their case before Hashem. Hashem said to Moses, saying, The daughters of Tzlochad speak properly. You shall surely give them a possession of inheritance among the brothers of their father, and you shall cause the inheritance of their father to pass over to them. And then a new rule was instituted. If a man will die and he has no son, you shall cause his inheritance to pass over to his daughter. Over the past few weeks, there has been a lot of controversy and a lot of publications about women's rights and women in the Jewish community. And I'm not going to go into any of them. Um, I don't have enough information and I'd rather not give my personal opinions here. But... Something important is, in regard to all of these things, I've seen different reactions to the perceived injustices. I've seen respectful publications. I've seen respectful work. I've seen people working behind the scenes. And unfortunately, I've seen a lot of outcries and just staging rebellions what it seems like but the question is we need change we need change in this community it's it's true and it's obvious and it's glaring on many different levels but the question is how do we go about it and from our story time well hello target um from our story time and from the torah we see the way to handle it these five women do not call their husbands and ask them to go talk to people for them. These five women went to the leader of the Jewish people. They went to Moshe and the Kohen Gadol. They went to the two highest people. And you know what it says? They spoke respectfully and they spoke in front of these people. And Moshe, as a true leader, went and spoke to the authority higher than he. And... The answer was, these women are right. And in this section, it actually says, in the commentary, it says that these women saw something. Let me read it. Let me read it directly from Rashi. Um, the daughters of Tzlachad spoke properly. Um, as Targum Unculus renders it properly, thus this passage is written before me on high. This tells us that their eye saw that which the eye of Moses did not see. And in the commentary on that, it says, they understood the aspect of the laws of inheritance that Moshe had not yet understood. The daughters of Slavchad speak properly seems superfluous. God could have begun with a direct statement of the law which applies. You shall give them a possession. It is stated to indicate the wisdom of the daughters of Slavchad. The Torah mentions that these women were wise. And I think that teaches us the way that we're supposed to make change as women. To use our wisdom, to use the fact that we know that sometimes we see things that men don't necessarily see. It's a gift. It's a beautiful gift. And we have to use it properly and we have to act in that proper way. And God willing, by emulating the daughters of Slavchad, we can see real change. Have a wonderful Shabbos.